Android 5.0 Lollipop is the first major update to the Android operating system since Android 4.0 Ice Cream Sandwich. And now I have it, here on my own personal Nexus 4. So let's see what it's like in Mobile Technology Review's full video review of Android 5.0 Lollipop on the Google Nexus 4. So Android 5.0 Lollipop brings quite a few new welcome features to the Android operating system, including material design. So in this video I'm going to be going over a couple of new features that this new version of Am Android implements, as well as going over what Android Lollipop is like on the Nexus 4. So first things first, I'm going to go ahead and show you guys the lock screen, the new, new and improved lock screen, because that's the first thing that you see once you boot up, boot up your device. So here we go, let me just unlock my Nexus 4, and there you go. As you can see, this lock screen has been completely redesigned, it's completely different than it was in KitKat. It's very simple, a lot more simple and minimalistic than it was before. As you can see, we have our a very simple clock widget here with the date in the center of the screen with our wallpaper in the background. Up here in the top left corner, we have our service provider, and in the top right corner, we have a couple of status icons. In the bottom row here, we have, in the right-hand corner, we have a shortcut to access our dialer. And to do that, you just slide over from the left, put your, put your pin in, and then there you go. You go directly into the dialer. Right here in the center, we have a shortcut to unlock your device. You just swipe up and put your pin in, and then there you go. Your device is unlocked. And then in order to access the camera from the lock screen, you just swipe over from the opposite side of the screen. And... There we go, you have quick access to your camera from the lock screen. And as you can see, very nice animations with all of this. This is all part of the new material design that Google is implementing with Lollipop. It looks very nice, very smooth, very fluid. Everything comes out of some place. It doesn't just appear out of nowhere like it used to in KitKat. As you can see, when I swipe to open up the camera, it kind of appears out of that corner. So that's part of the new material design. It looks very nice. So I'm going to go ahead and unlock my device here. I'm going to go ahead and put in my pattern. Alright, and here we are on the home screen. And just a, a note before I begin talking about this in depth. I am running the Google Now Launcher on this Nexus 4, just so you all know. And Really, I think right off the bat, the first thing you'll notice is these Android buttons have been completely redesigned in, in Lollipop. Uh, instead of the house button and the back arrow and the menu button over here, they've been redesigned to a simple triangle, circle, and square. And I think that is very nice looking. And this, which used to be the recent apps on KitKat, has now been renamed Overview. It still functions the same as recent apps, but it just looks quite a bit different. As you can see here, here's camera, uh, the last thing that we open, and this little icon right here I'll get into later. And again, you just swipe to the side to clear out that app from the phone's history. So there you go, there's the redesigned Android buttons in Lollipop. I think they look very nice. The next thing I want to talk about is the status bar up here. Uh, so they have been completely redesigned as far as look goes. Uh, it's going to be a little bit hard to see now, but these icons up here have been redesigned in the looks department. They look a lot more flat and a lot more minimalistic, and I think nicer in my opinion. And another huge redesign in Lollipop is the notification pull down. As you can see I pulled down once. This will show you your notifications. This has your, your time and your date and your status icons. If you pull it down again you can access quick settings. So right here you have your brightness slider. You can easily turn Wi-Fi on and off, turn Bluetooth on and off, turn your data on and off. Um, flashlight is another new feature of Android. You just tap that and your, if your phone has flash on the camera. Uh, it'll turn that on. Um, and instead of holding down these icons to turn them on like you did on KitKat, you can just tap them and it turns on. And as you can see here with the brightness slider, the 
notification pull down actually disappears you can see how bright your device is going to get so up here we have the battery percentage a shortcut to settings and this brings us to our users so here's me you can also add a guest account which is a new feature of Android 5.0 Lollipop and you can also add another user besides yourself you can go to more settings here this brings you to your full-on settings application alright and here's the full-on settings app in Android 5.0 Lollipop and again it has been completely redesigned from KitKat uh, we have most of the same menu items like Wi-Fi Bluetooth but they all look slightly different Google has now implemented this gray, blue, and white UI color scheme and it looks really nice and as you can see this little shade here comes down when you reach the top of the list and when you reach the bottom of the list a little bit hard to see there but again just a nice little touch a couple of uh, new settings within the settings app uh, we can independently change our media and alarm and ring volume looks a little bit different now and another thing new that I forgot to mention about the lock screen is now there is built-in lock screen notifications which is something that I've wanted on Android for so long and finally Google has listened to us and put notifications on the lock screen and right here you can change your lock screen settings you can have it show all notification content, you can have it hide sensitive notic notification content, or you can have it not show notifications at all, which is nice because some people may not like the notification style. And another thing that is new with Android 5.0 Lollipop is priority mode. Uh, so let's say you are going to bed and you don't want anyone to bother you. So this is very similar to the do not disturb mode on iOS. So basically when you change the volume, you can change it from all, which is all calls, all texts, alarms, everything is allowed through. Priority, you can change who and what is allowed through, and you can select how long that priority mode lasts. And none doesn't allow anything through. It's, it keeps the phone completely silent for however long you want it to and not even alarms, as I said, not even alarms will get through. I usually just keep it on all, but for example when I'm sleeping I usually keep it on priority mode so that only, for example, calls might come through. Uh, so that's something nice and new on Android 5.0 Lollipop. And right here you can select what gets through in priority mode. So if you have your phone set in priority mode right now events and reminders will still make noise even when it's in priority mode. If you turn calls on and messages on those will make noise in priority mode. Users is another new section. So here's me. I'm the owner of the phone so I'm the main user profile. A guest profile, I can go ahead and switch it to guest right now just to show you guys yes continue and as you can see here's the guest mode for some reason it locked anyway it just has the apps that come installed on the phone so all the apps that you've installed on your phone do not show up in guest mode so none of the people that are using your phone in guest mode can access those apps also the your Google account is not signed in with this guest guest account. So whoever decides to use the guest account can sign into their own Google account and you know do stuff within their account instead of messing with your account. So that's very nice. And you can easily just go up here and then change it back to you. And there we go. I'm go ahead and put in my pattern again. There we go. That's guest users. That's a very nice feature, new feature in Android 5.0 Lollipop. We have a couple of new features under security. Smart Lock is one of those things. So in Smart Lock we can program trusted devices within the phone. And when these trusted devices connect or get near the Nexus 4 it it will not lock because it knows those devices are trusted. So for example uh, if you added a Bluetooth speaker 
to one of your trusted devices. When you turn your Bluetooth on, and when the Bluetooth speaker was on, uh, your device wouldn't lock because it knows that that Bluetooth speaker is a trusted device. So that's a very nice feature. And just to prove to you that this is 5.0, right here it says 5.0. Right here, there we go, lollipop. And right here we have Google's version of Flappy Bird, which I am not very good at, as you can see. Yeah. Uh, but anyway, that's just something built into the Android operating system with 5.0. And there we go. There's settings, pretty much. There's a ton of little things within settings that have been tweaked. Uh, but I don't really have time to show you guys all of those. So, back to... If we go back to overview here, I said I would come back to this little icon here. And this little icon is a screen pinning. So it's basically a new security feature within Android 5.0 Lollipop. And it basically allows you to lock a screen. So for example, let's say I wanted to lock this settings app. So I can just tap that, say start, and there we go, this screen is pinned. So now, I can't go back to the home screen, I can't go back anywhere, I can only do stuff within this app. And this is perfect for, say, say you lend someone your phone, and they want to make a phone call and say you don't want them messing around with anything else on your phone, you can just screen pin the dialer app so that they can only use that app. So that they can't mess around with any of your other apps. And then in order to unlock it, you hold this down. And then I have it set to where you have to put your pattern in to unlock the app. So let me go ahead and do that. And there we go. That's screen pinning. It's a very nice feature. And under 5.0 Lollipop, I think it's really clever and very uh, very nice security feature. So right here we have Google Now. It's been slightly redesigned. The cards have a different look to them. Very nice look. And of course the Google Now voice, the OK Google voice search still works as you can see. Right here, our app drawer has been slightly redesigned. Oh, I didn't mean to click on it, but there we go. Here's the new clock application. It implements a blue and pink color scheme. And actually, this color scheme changes depending on what time of day it is. So for example, if it were 5 o'clock p.m. right now instead of 1, it would be a dark shade of purple instead of a lighter shade of blue, which is very nice. Um, another app that's been redesigned is the calculator app. Again, it just implements a new color scheme and as you can see the animations there when I tap at different numbers. Contacts has been redesigned as well. A couple of other apps have been redesigned, but again, I don't have all the time to show you guys all the apps that have been redesigned with this update. And that is really it. I think that the Android 5.0 Lollipop update is a very welcome update to the Android operating system. Uh, it hasn't been redesigned significantly since 4.0 Ice Cream Sandwich, so it really needed a, a really significant large update. And that's what Google gave us. And I think that the material design uh, looks very nice throughout the operating system. Everything is very uniform and very fluid, and it just works well, as you can see here. Our overview, again, to clear out of apps, you just slide. As you can see, the animations are just really stunning. It has a really uniform look to it. All of the apps follow the same material design. There's no, you know, inconsistency within the operating system now. I think that was really Google's main intention with this Android 5.0 <laughs> update, is to keep things consistent and uniform within the UI. And they really did a good job of accomplishing that with this update. And performance wise, it runs really, really smooth on the Nexus 4. The Nexus 4 is a two year old device now, but this version of Android runs really, really smoothly and really fluidly on this device. 
And, you know, that's, that's really, really great. I do appreciate that. So, there we go. That was a look at Android 5.0 Lollipop on the Google Nexus 4. Stay tuned for more videos, and thank you very much for watching. See ya.